Hey guys, uh, Blender277, uh, released yesterday. I just wanted to share something I found when I was using uh, Symmetry Paint. I've been doing a lot of experimentation lately with uh, working on the Blender Paint add-on with Spiro 4D. I mean, he's doing an awesome job with getting everything cool, cool and collected in here. Um, some things are still in, in works, so we'll see about that. Anyway, really cool deal. Um, everybody knows that you can go about painting and symmetry now or at least I think everybody's seen it um, set a shameless camera so I'm working through a, a camera that allows me to grab a snapshot if I need to but that's you know the cool thing is, is that we're just working on one little tiny thing and uh, just to say what we're going to do I'm going to go into object mode you see the cursor here in the at the cursor is where the object center is that's where you use for making your pivots for different things and uh, it comes in handy for the idea of using symmetry in paint so if I go to texture paint now you, you don't see the cursor anymore you don't see the center but if you keep in mind that it's on that line right there I'll turn on X symmetry white full and I'm going to turn off the pressure so it's just going to be a solid white line and you can see that we now can find that we have symmetry going on and so that's pretty cool but what if I want to do that over here I mean, I can sit there and mask that out, and cut it out, put it on a plane, move the plane, put it over here, and then paint it, and then, well, that just takes away all the, the whole idea of just being spontaneous. And how am I going to do that? I mean, I want to, well, I don't have any special widget or anything, but I do remember having a conversation with somebody one time about why the 3D cursor was important, and we don't see it, it's not here. But, if I go to the clone tool, it is. So if I control click here, go back to text draw, I'm going to make my brush a little smaller because of, I'm not sure, whoop, it worked but it worked, no, it didn't. Oh, I know what it was. This is funny. I totally forgot a step because I didn't write my notes down. Okay, but we know where our uh, our, our cursor is, but where's our center at? Let's go to object mode. Hmm, it's right there. So what we'll need to do is a nice little thing called uh, set origin to 3D cursor. Then if we travel to texture paint again, oops, I forgot that's on the clone. Eek okay now we're okay and see now we're actually working on something that actually looks pretty cool and it's all right there not over here where it's mandatorily done but over here okay so I decide I wanna do some more maybe and I wanna go with Y okay now it's doing this number that's where he gets into planning. You have to know how big you're going to paint and what where your center is. My center is way up here. I think right there is what I think it was. Yeah, way up there. So if that cursor was here, and we went to object mode, set origin, 3D cursor, texture paint, Oop, and we're doing a clone again. I'm sorry. I just didn't practice that part. But this one now is X and Y. So you can see what's going on there. But, okay, well. I'm going to go ahead and just fill that up with white. It's going to turn it all the way up and no pressure for next time. So we've got this going on. Let's see, I think, yeah. Let's 
that's over on this side. We decide we want it over there, or maybe we want it in the center. Let's go ahead and go back to center, object mode, set origin to geometry. It puts it right back in the center. Shift S, put cursor to center, object mode, texture paint. Start over again. Yep, it works. So that's all it is, is uh, going back and forth from texture paint to object mode, and you're going to need to make use of that, uh, that tool in object mode, which is the set origin tool. So pretty much you can bring that up with shift control alt C, which if I end up using this a lot, I'm going to probably use something else to to bring this up, but you can use all four he has four keys to bring that up, to bring it to the cursor. And uh I do want to put a, a tool of some kind here to get that quicker, but we'll see what happens. Some of the things that I that I, that I code ends up being very ugly, and since somebody like Spiro 4D has to clean it up, but this gives you an idea. You've got the ex, the actual the ability to. Now, the reason I show you on a 2D canvas is because this is very simple. Um, it is possible on a 3D object. However, um, you might want to consider unwrapping your uh, 3D object to to your UV map, laying out your UV map, and putting it down in the UV image editor like over here say we're say like if, we're, if this was our our deal and then exporting the flat map with the, the lines on it so you can get an idea of what you're doing with two, with two different uh images and then load load your uh UV uh pattern as one uh image on top maybe to set the multiply over the top of your actual texture and then you can go about trying to do that on a in a flat way this is a 2D paint tool setup that I'm working with and um, I can do things that are a little bit different for uh, compared to what you do over in the editor. The editor can't do any rotations. We've got rotations. Reset. We can flip our canvas which of course it doesn't matter now because you can't tell. It's the same thing but we also have some masking we also have uh, a couple of small things we have a crop tool or yeah, you know, crop tool is st starting to work but anyway we'll see what happens uh, hope you guys got got something out of it talk to you later thanks